So I'm a big fan of sports. And one of the things I love about being in business is that the sports analogies are endless. The one I wanna to talk to you about today is the power of momentum. You hear about a team who wins six straight games at the end of a season and how they have all this momentum heading into the playoffs. Or during a game when a team is losing big at halftime and comes out to start the second half with a bunch of unanswered points and even while they're still behind, all 80,000 people in that stadium just believe that they are going to win because the momentum has shifted. Players and teams who harness the power of momentum feel unstoppable, they feel invincible, they know that when they're in the zone, they're performing at the highest possible level. Now, as a member of the Positive Impact Club, you will quickly discover that we also like to reference science because there is a science to success. And scientific events, such as momentum, they don't just happen, they are created. So here are the nerdy quick facts um, and the science end of this. All objects, including us, have mass. And momentum is simply mass in motion. Now, the amount of momentum that an object has is based on the variable of velocity. So now let's get back to the sports analogy, shall we? Ever watch one of those World's Strongest Man competitions? Have you ever seen the event in there where they take this big rope and they tie it to an enormously muscular human and at the under, other end of the rope there's an enormous truck? Well, what happens when the gun goes off and that man starts trying to pull this truck forward? In the beginning, he's exerting mass amounts of energy. He's grunting and sweating and veins are popping out of his face and his body and he's turning redder and redder by the second. And what is the truck doing while all this is going on? It's barely moving. In fact, you can hardly see any movement of the truck at all in the beginning. So this is exactly what it's like when you start any new activity or project or diet or discipline or habit. Even after you apply massive amounts of focus and effort, you may initially only get a minuscule result. But just like the world's strongest man attempting to pull the truck, you keep grinding it out and grinding it out. So now back to the man. After a few minutes of maximum effort, the muscle man gets that truck moving at a noticeably faster pace. Then what happens? His face isn't as red, his breathing becomes more normal, and the truck keeps moving faster and faster, even as this man's energy level was significantly reduced because he's broken through and he's gained that momentum. So now the question becomes, which one big step caused that truck to start moving so fast? In other words, what caused Muscle Man's great success? Was it his first step? His second step? His 20th step? Well, he wouldn't be able to answer that because it wasn't just one step. It was all of them added together. It was his overall accumulation of effort applied consistently in one forward moving direction. Sure, some steps and pulls may have been bigger or harder than others, but the key was consistency that he used to build that momentum. So now the question becomes, if gaining momentum takes this incredible effort and sustained activity to get your truck moving forward, then why on God's green earth would you ever stop once you have that momentum? Because when you want to get it going again, it will take all of that extreme effort that you exerted in the initial phases all over again. All of that time commitment all over again, just to get back to the same momentum and speed that you once already had. So my challenge to you today is this. If you are stopped, then start. If you have started, then keep pulling harder and harder. And if you've broken through and gained momentum, then ride that wave. Because there is a science to being in the zone and playing with momentum. Once you get there, it's not time to stop. It's actually time to stay late and make more calls and hold more appointments and keep your truck moving forward. Because you worked way too hard to stop it now. I am so thankful that you spent a few minutes with me today. And just remember, the Positive Impact Club's morning huddle videos will always be delivered to you free of charge. The only two asks that we have of you is that if you found this to be beneficial, to please share it with everybody and anybody that you can think of who would benefit from it as well. And if you feel like you're the type of person who wants to take your productivity and happiness to the next level, please consider joining us on our elite team today.